Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Marisa and I'm here on YouTube to talk all things curly hair. Now today I'm going to show you how I do something which for me is a huge time saver and it's called Wash Now Style Later and this was come up with by the lovely Danielle over on Instagram, Curly Fit Mom. I will pop her down here so you can go and check her out. She's got gorgeous flame red hair and she's just a bundle of positive energy so definitely go give her a follow on Instagram if you're not following her already. But she always washes her hair at night and she came up with this thing that she's called Wash Now Style Later where she washes her hair um, usually at night, just kind of does nothing to it, doesn't style it, just lets it dry and then re-wets it and styles it when she's ready. And it might kind of sound like the first time I heard it, I thought, well, how is that going to save time? But believe me, it does because it saves time when time counts. So you can just go in the shower, um, wash your hair and forget about it. If you just want your hair to be clean or if you wash your hair at night or if you've just got a bit of time and you're going in the shower anyway. Uh, but then when you re-wet and style it, it's so fast. Like I can do the whole re-wet and style in about... 20 minutes you know it's really handy if then you've got somewhere to be like the next day and you want your hair to be looking its best so i washed my hair last night and um i am going to flip back there for you right now so you can see exactly what i did and how it looked when it was wet hey guys i have just washed my hair in the shower i just did a quick shampoo and condition and um I rolled it up in a towel the way I wouldn't normally, like, you know, the old fashioned towel roll up and everything. Um, I didn't squish to condition even, I just washed it and, and left it. Um, I've just added a little bit of Bounce Curl Leave-In Conditioner, I've raked it through thoroughly and given it a very quick scrunch just because it's a habit. <laughs> And I'm quite amazed at how these curls are already forming. But now I'm just going to leave it to air dry and I will show you uh, my styling process tomorrow. So before we go any further, I'm just going to apologise for my voice. I am a little bit croaky and a little bit blocked. <laughs> I've had the cold. I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm finally feeling a bit energetic, but I felt really dreadful for the last week. So I might be a bit croaky. Um, I have a glass of water and I may be having to take sips. Anyway, um, my this is my hair now after having, as, as I showed you, air dried last night and then I slept on it. I didn't use my buff. I just stuck, I just stuck it in a pineapple with an Invisibubble and do you know what? I am so impressed at how it looks considering there's no styling products in it at all. Like it's pretty shiny. It is, it obviously is more frizzy. Well, you can't really see it right here, but I swear to you in real life, it is a bit frizzy, um, but it feels beautiful and soft and all that is in it is the Bounce Curl Leave-In Conditioner. So basically now I'm going to show you exactly what I do to re-wet and style and show you my results and all of that. <laughs> So first of all, my spray bottle is not a fancy one. It's actually a repurposed bottle um, of by Selena Curl Cleanser. And these are metal bottles, no plastic. Um, and they're just perfect for repurposing as a spray bottle. I already had this little plastic spray top already. Um, so rather than going and buying a new one, this is what I use at the moment. So I'm going to re-wet my hair. Oh, one note on. If you have a water bottle that you use, like a spray bottle that you use for your hair, please, please, please change the water super regularly because water sat in a bottle, there could be contaminants in the bottle already, there might be bacteria in the bottle. It's literally a breeding ground for bacteria. You know, if you have a glass of water and you leave it on the side for a couple of days and then you go and take a drink and it's disgusting, it tastes horrible, well, that's because there's bacteria growing in it. And the same is true with your water bottles, your spray bottles for your hair. So. I would say like two days maximum and then change that water, please, for your health. So this is fresh water. I also like to use warm water because um, it just, you know, I feel like it helps when I'm re-wetting my hair to open up the cuticle and just does a better job. So I've got just plain water in here, nothing else. And I just go ahead and dampen my hair. So I say dampen. I would say when I'm doing wash now style later, I am wetting my hair. So it's wetter than damp but it's not dripping wet, if that makes sense. So I'm just really going to very, very, very thoroughly make sure that it's all wet. All, uh, I don't want any dry bits because um, if there are dry bits and you're just then gonna go and style and add products, it's just probably gonna cause more frizz. 
So I suppose it's almost like you just wash your hair and don't style it and then you do like a really thorough refresh. You could actually do this as a refresh. But the reason why I think it works better than if I was to do this as a refresh is because there aren't already styling products in my hair. So I'm not kind of like layering up products and getting build up. I am just, um, you know, putting these products in for the first time. Um, I know a lot of people have success with this Hannah Hands Curls. Um, you probably already subscribed to her on YouTube and follow her on Instagram. She does this quite a lot and it works really well for her as well. Obviously, Danielle, Curly Fit Mum, she, um, she does this pretty much every wash, I think. I think it's kind of her go-to. Super handy if you tend to shower at night and wash your hair at night, but then... You know, you don't want to go through the whole styling process at night. You can just re-wet your hair like this in the morning. I'm not wetting my scalp specifically because that's one of the reasons why it's so quick to style because your scalp is already dry. So when I can like run my fingers through my hair and it feels kind of starting to feel a bit slippy from the water and the leave-in conditioner that's already in there, I'm not feeling any dry sections at all. That's pretty much when I know it's wet enough. And basically it's damp enough that there's no frizz showing. Um, you know, if it's just like a little bit damp, you usually can see frizzy bits, whereas my hair is now wet enough that there's no frizz. Okay, I'm happy that that is wet enough. So obviously it's not dripping wet, but it's thoroughly damp it's more than damp anyway you can see <laughs> and what I'm gonna style with today um is a combo which is one of my absolute favorite combos of styling products and I've been meaning to film it for a while so I thought well this is a good kind of um combination of two things to show you is the wash now style later and this product combo because it is just so good so I've talked about it before I talked about it on my 2020 favorite products and it is the curl smith um hydro jelly and the bounce curl light cream gel together they are just a match made in heaven and i know some of you guys have already tried this after i mentioned it and absolutely loved it so uh, i'm going to show you how i do it i don't really know why but for for some reason i always go in with the hydro style flexi jelly first um i have a discount code for both Curl Smith and Bounce Curl. So I'll pop them on the screen and you can find them in the description box. I will, of course, as always, link all the products in the description box. So there we go. The funny thing is, is that these products are quite similar as far as um, consistency goes. Uh, but the actual makeup of the products is different and together they work so well. So the other thing about when I do Wash Now Style later is when I'm styling, I style my hair differently than I would like if it was a regular wash day. So because I've already wet it and I've already raked it through and all of that, I tend to kind of rake and praying hands a lot more than I normally do on a wash day. Don't ask me why, I just do. <laughs> um, and it seems to work. So I think my hair is a little bit less wet than it would normally be. I'm just wanting to make sure that the product gets really, really well distributed. So just gonna, gonna rake it through well. Now, when my head is upside down, I like to do the kind of split styling thing where I just let the hair fall at either side of my head here and kind of rake it down. And that way I feel like I can distribute my products better. And then I'm gonna do praying hands all the way around to smooth it all down. And that helps to create some clumps. Um, I'm going to add another little bit of this before I move on to the bounce curl. Now this Hydro Style Flexi Jelly is protein free. Um, it's lightweight, but it's got a decent hold. And the bounce curl is also lightweight and I would say kind of reasonable medium hold, light to medium hold. Uh, but it has protein in it and I think that's one of the reasons why they work so well together. Okay, because the Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel by itself, um, it's great, but it doesn't quite give me the hold and the longevity that I like, whereas combined with this, it's brilliant. Um, but the Flexi Jelly doesn't have the protein that my hair craves, and the Bounce Curl does, so 
much made in heaven for me. So again, just starting with small amounts. Like I said, it's quite a similar consistency. I'm gonna rake that through. Oh, I love putting my hair like this in this split styling for applying styling products. I find it works so well. And making sure that these bits are coming down at the back means that you're less likely to get like a, a split uh, once your hair's dry or like once you flip up, right? So I'm just raking and praying hands. I'm gonna add a bit more. They also both smell amazing and together. Yeah, smell kind of like a tropical holiday. Holidays, does anyone remember those? Let me know, are you going on holiday this year? After the craziness of 2020 and 2021, are you actually going on holiday? anywhere this summer. We keep talking about it, but we haven't actually done it yet. Okay, so now to create my clumps, I'm gonna just do this. It's like raking, but you're kind of grabbing, and I learned this from Welshy Curl Girl on Instagram, and it is just a game changer. Okay, look at those super straight clumps. I look a bit like um, an emo, don't I? Like if it dried like this. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start a little bit of gentle scrunching. Now, I do want to be careful because my hair is not soaking wet and it's also a warm day here. So um, I feel like it's going to dry quickly. I think I'm actually just going to spray a little bit more water. Just to make sure that it is hydrated enough and that the clumps are going to be able to form You can just, you know, keep your spray bottle with you and add it as you need to. Now I'm going to flip it over and I want to make sure that it's not stuck to my head, which it's not because the roots are not soaking. That's another good thing is that I feel like you get more volume because the roots are already dry. Okay. Seriously warm here today for Scotland, I mean. So it's drying up quickly. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit more bounce curl now just to scrunch in. And as you see, I'm only adding really small amounts at a time. So although I'm adding a number of times, it's only really quite small amounts. Um, I do prefer to do that with products just to add a very small amount at a time because then you're much less likely to overdo it that way. Because you know, the old adage, it's true for so many things. You can add more, but you can't take it away once you've added it. I'm sure that's not exactly how you're supposed to say it, but you get the picture. Okay. Okay, so this bit of the front's not quite behaving. I'm gonna wet him a little bit more. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is use a little bit of the Bounce Curl hairspray as just like a final hold. Now this is the old version and they have they have changed the packaging but they've also changed the formula so the new version doesn't contain protein so which is maybe good for a lot of people I haven't really tried out the new one yet it's on my shelf but I've still got like half a bottle of this left and I love it so I'm going to use it um it's amazing amazing to use on wet hair you can use it at this point you can also dry your hair halfway and then add it but I'm going to use it this point today just be sparing it's very strong stuff I'm just just gonna scrunch in carefully okay so as you can see doing it this way doing the wash now style later I, I feel like definitely doesn't give me like the thick clumps that I would get uh, doing my hair like all in a one or when my hair was wetter than this but um, it dries so much faster and it actually love the result it's a slightly different look it's a slightly um smaller clumpy look gives more volume and the last time i did this my hair and used these exact products my hair looks super curly like it looked a lot curlier than it normally does like the curls look tighter um which was a really nice look as well it's nice to just have 
a change sometimes, isn't it? Um, to know what you can do to get a different look. And you know, if you have fine or low density hair, then aiming for smaller clumps can actually be a really good thing. I know that we seem to, in the curly world, constantly be striving for big clumps. But if you have fine or low density hair, you're actually better off going for smaller clumps because it's gonna give the illusion of fuller hair, more hair, you know, more volume. Um, so just because we're always talking about things to get clumps, doesn't mean that you want to be going for these massive clumps because my hair, if I was going for huge clumps, I would have like four of them. So I'm better off with more smaller clumps. And if you have um, finer or even less hair than me, then yeah, definitely. I would recommend don't be striving for those, those mega clumps because it's just gonna make your hair appear flatter and smaller. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and diffuse it now. Um, and let's see what we get. I'm going to see what the time is right now. I'm going to time how long it takes me to diffuse because I think it's going to be super quick. So it's 10.09 right now. So let's see how long this takes. I'm probably just going to use my Dyson. I'm not going to double diffuse today because this is going to be quick anyway. So here goes. dry 10 13 four minutes i've been diffusing for four minutes and it feels nearly dry sorcery it is a warm day i will say that again i say warm for scotland but yeah it's not a cold or a damp day but even still <laughs> Is the sorcery how is this possible I think my hair is dry hang on 10 15 what six minutes I'm pretty sure I just diffused my hair from wet to dry in six minutes what <laughs> so as you saw there I do like to towards the end of my diffusing I like to scrunch as I diffuse because it gives more volume breaks the cast a little bit which actually then leads to faster drying time as well um, but oh my goodness, not only was it fast, but look at it, looks pretty darn good. I'm going to give it a good old thorough fluffing. Do you know, I was doubting it I was doubting the method I was doubting myself as I was styling it and adding the stuff I'm thinking oh it's just not wet enough it's not going to be good stupid stupid me before so I'm absolutely delighted with it I mean look at the volume I've still got I've got these amazing ringlets and I had these last time as well last time I did this um so that just shows that small clumps don't necessarily equal stringy curls uh, and, you know, you don't always have to be chasing mega clumps. How does the back look? I haven't seen it yet. You'll have to tell me. But yeah, so there we go. Um, I'm going to let it settle. I'm going to put on my makeup and then I will come back and show you in a minute once it's settled. But yeah, I mean, Danielle, if you're watching this, thank you. You're a genius. Okay, so I've let my hair settle, put on my makeup and... Um, it's so, it's looking great. I'm so, so happy with it. I'm gonna give you a full 360 look. So yeah, I'm super, super happy with it. So fast, as you saw, literally took me six minutes pretty much to diffuse it to 100% dry, which is just mental. So definitely, definitely time saving. Um, and it just can really work with your schedule if you're somebody who likes to shower at night or if you have an event that you want to go to, but you don't have all the time in the world before that event, 
to style your hair. And uh, yeah, I'm just very, very happy with the results. And also that product combo, I absolutely love these three. Um, and as I said, I'll leave the links below for the products and discount codes for Bounce Curl and for Curl Smith. And if you try the combo of the Flexi Jelly and the Light Cream Gel, or if you try the, the Bounce Curl Hairspray on Wet Hair, then please let me know because I'd love to hear how it works for you and if it works for you as well. So thank you so much for being here and for watching my video. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought, if you have any questions and um, give it a little thumbs up because that really helps me out. And consider subscribing if you'd like to see more from me. Bye for now.